Shailesh and you are watching PHP Tutorials. Today we are going to see abstract classes in PHP by using inheritance. So let's start by creating a simple class which will give it a name like ban and the another class the name as bi and if there is a need that this bank that is the main bank which is having two functions like public function and deposit the second function it will have public function and with draw SBI bank is going to take these properties from bank class by using keyword extends and bank. So if I want to create an object of SBI obj equals to new SBI. So all the properties of this main bank will be available over here. But there is a thing if I want to use my own withdraw functionality so I can write here public function withdraw whenever user is going to withdraw money from my bank so I want some different functionality so I can write here my own functionality RM from SPI withdraw function and BR now if I save this PHP programs and home abstract dot php if i just refresh this so here we have abstract dot php and the program is working fine and if i want to run this code then dollar sbi obj and withdraw function if i just refresh this so it is saying i am from sbi withdraw function now if I just give this class as an abstract and I know that the bank has a very good functionality very good parameters it can give so I'll just put a declaration of my method and if I just refresh this it is showing non abstract method bank withdraw so I'll need to add that abstract keyword over here if I just refresh this it is working fine so abstract is nothing but giving a basic information of any functionality which is going to be implemented by any another class that is nothing but a derived class which is extending the abstract class so here you can say that the withdraw method is going to be defined by this SBI class so I am just declaring this now if I remove this method so it is not going to work because we have used that abstract keyword over here and from the abstract class so it is saying class SBI contains one abstract method because we have extended here bank method bank class so we have this one abstract method with us which we should define over here defining a method means we should write a function body for that method so it is compulsory to be declared or implement the remaining methods so withdraw is the method which is abstract over here and I should write a definition for that wherever I am going to use that class if I just replace this it is going to be work fine so this is the main thing about the abstract class if we if any class having the basic information so it is going to take that thing and write the abstract keyword before that but it will not going to add the definition of that method over here and let's say I am from class bank deposit method and save this so I can use that deposit method also inside this SBI object see I am from class bank deposit method so I can use that partially we can write our main functionality and the functionality which a derived class is going to be uh, defined so that we can add with the keyword abstract from public function and 
the function name and the class should be an abstract class if I just remove this so it is not going to work anymore because if any class is containing a single abstract method so that class is going to be finally an abstract class only so we should write abstract keyword before a class so that's all for now in the next tutorial we are going to see interfaces in php thank you for watching